Hello fellow YouTubers. Well, we're still kind of in a cash deficient state. Uh, had some money come in, but we've got to wait till after the holiday weekend to be able to access it. Um, figured I'd come out and show you guys some changes to the system. Um, put this new um, hard plastic pipe in for the up pipe instead of the swimming pool pipe. And that goes down to this. I just added this today. Just made it with some scrap PVC stuff that I had. So it aerates the water more. Uh, so you can see the tomatoes are doing quite well. The auto siphon is working phenomenally. Um, but here's the big change that we made. Is our two down pipes, which we have changed all out to one inch now. But down here we reduce them down to a three quarter, simply because it's the parts I had. And run them down into this little... Uh, thing here which we're going to fill with bio balls and put a lid on it. Here's the lid. I've uh, got to drill holes in it and uh, then we'll fill it with bio balls to help our nitrogen cycle go a little quicker. But the interesting part is is that when we put this on there with the two pipes merged into one of the reducer, our water is now staying below our little uh, anti-siphon holes. When these holes are covered by water, it creates a super uh, siphon, sucks the tank down until the holes are exposed again, and actually does a much better job at keeping the water levels down in the tank so we don't have to worry about an overflow, um, which means that I'll be able to use a... Uh, well, I've already increased the flow on the pump considerably because of it, because um, we don't have to worry about the tank filling faster than it'll drain. So that little bit of PVC right there, that T that ties these together, has made a world of difference in how quickly the water will drain back out of the tank. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Going on with other stuff, um, we've changed around the Dutch bucket how we're going to do it, and uh, just a little temporary sump there for testing, and ran the, uh, this is just that uh, irrigation, that soft plastic irrigation line, and then we'll go into each one of them with a little P-tube. And I'm going to use a piece of three-quarter inch um, for the return drain to go back to the uh, to the sump. Um, simplest, cheapest way to do it. And we got a whole bunch more of these uh, little kitty litter containers that we're using to make the uh, tanks. Um, these are smaller than the other ones. Um, we'll do tomatoes in that batch. And we'll probably put cucumbers or smaller rooting plants in the rest. Our um, hydroponic system... Um, our parsleys. Um, these are the broccolis. They're going to have to come out of here real soon. Um, back up on the top, this is thyme. These oreganos aren't doing real well. So our little basils and those are our rosemaries. Our cucumbers are going nuts. Um, have a leak in the system and what I did is I took a piece of the pipe that I had and ran it down there and uh, put it in this little container for now so I can just drain out the leak, catch it and drain it back to the reservoir periodically. Um, I know the right thing to do would be to fix the leak, but I don't want to shut the system down and dismantle the pipes to try to fix the leak. So this will work until this crop is finished and then we'll, uh, we'll do it correctly. Um, didn't have twine, so I used some zip ties to, uh, to create a pathway for these, uh, these cucumbers to climb. Um, our lettuces, these will be doing a lot better, some of these bottom ones. The top ones are doing much better. The roots are finally down into the system and they are just taking off. This little corn that I stuck in here, I'm noticing that he's getting some stripes on him, which is usually a sign of nutrient deficiency. Um, have no idea what he wants, but this is a good balanced nutrient, so it must be something that the rest of the plants don't need. And that's where she stands. I'm tickled to death with what happened with this. Uh, it, it was purely an accident. I just didn't have um, half inch or have one inch um, elbows and tees to do that with. So I, I used, made up my own little reducer and um, used the three quarter that I had just because I wanted to see what would happen. And uh, happy, happy mistake. So until next time, 